Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quickums here. I want to thank you all for stopping by and hanging out with me as I play a little bit more of Overfall. It's in Steam Early Access right now, folks. Just to remind you, we're on Episode 6. This is the Warlord uh, that we have unlocked, or I have unlocked, actually. And we're going to go and try to mess around with some goblins. And we're going to try to find the vast majority of them. A small camp set up in an elevated area to allow for better defensibility. A bard greets you, playing his loot. Friend, come sit with me. I am but a humble man who seeks his destiny. I have little to trade, yet I have many stories to share. Alright, well... So he has to trade, ignore, or ask to hear a story. Well, ask to hear a story. He strums his loot. Long ago there appeared a gate. No one knew where it went to. Two heroes that they sent. For this day, they never came back. Okay. That's pretty much us, I guess. We just heard the story of us. The story of all of us. Alright, well, we're going to head on out. We're going to head, I guess, on over to the easterly side of things, because uh, apparently over here, this is not where we wanted to be. And I don't know how powerful they are. We're a bit underwhelming right now, I realize this, folks, but that's okay. We have the potential to become all super ultra mega powerful eventually. Alright, uh, you come across the goblin who looks and talks quite differently than the other goblins that you've met before. It's not working. Oh, there should be a way. Hey, something wrong other than you than your oddly mature being? Okay. Although feeling a bit offended, the goblin explains. Greetings, I am a teacher who's trying to educate younger goblins to keep them away from the streets, from the dust. You know how my kind is. Okay, but... But the families just don't send the kids to my school. They think I'll play with their minds and turn them into something they aren't. Well, uh, looking at you, I can understand their concerns. Uh, you need our help with this? He gently asks for you to help him bring the children into his school. It would mean worlds to me and the Goblin Society if you can achieve that. It will take some time to understand this for them, though. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. You visit the inn to inform the goblins about the importance of education. The teacher sent you right, big man. Oh, big man, so wise. Your kids will have a brighter future. Does big man have some dust? Dust opens goblin ears. They don't really listen to you. Um, take the dust and listen to me. Do you want our kids to become what you are? Dust junkies? They surprisingly listen to you this time. You may be right, big man. Okay, we give it a try. If it doesn't work out, the teacher is out. Alright, great. Just give them a chance to be something different. They let you take the kids to the teacher's school to get them their first ever class. Okay, kids. Do So our first class is about dust. You should bring any dust you find to your teacher, okay? Very important. All dust to your teacher. Hey, hey, hey. What are you talking about? The teacher hushes you. The class is on. Big man can leave. Just leave. Alright, the room is filled with kids. Let's not pull any moves near them. Goblins are always goblins. That was different than the last time we had that kind of encounter. That's cool. Alright, let's go take a peek over here at this. Ahoy, adventurers! You encounter a group of adventurers sailing the high seas. Ask if they have some runes to share. We have insufficient funds. Uh, any interesting events we can participate in? Of an arena that takes place. Ah, uh, no, never mind. All right. What about any rumors of discord in the area? There's more than plenty, especially lately. All right. Let's go see where this plenty one is. It is over here to our west. We shall go face off against the hollows, or maybe not. I don't know. Oh dear. Hmm. This looks a bit creepy. In a tavern on this island, a drunken elf challenges you to a dance contest. I'll, I'll bet you have the, the, the agility of a, a horse, <laughs> or a hippo. Uh, bet two frags you can beat this elf in a dance competition. It's on! If you can do the same moves I did in correct order, which I don't think you can, you win. Watch and learn. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. The elf dances fairly well. Her moves were turn back, shake it up, jump, hands up. Turn back, shake it up, jump, hands up. Woohoo, how about that? Can you do that? Turn back, 
shake it, jump, hands up. Turn back, shake it, jump, hands up. The crowd gathers around you as you prepare. Alright, turn back. Okay. Jump, shake, hands up. Oh no! Oh, I'm a failure. It was jump. It was it was shake, jump. Ah. Oh well. I lost my mind. It was too much reading in between. I, I I psyched myself out there. That's all right. We lost two frag. I probably deserve to lose that two frag. Just saying. Let's eat some food to restore a little bit more HP to our crew here. Hey, there's some random stuff over here that we can grab. I am a fan of random stuff, and there it is. Alright, there's another human and goblin settlement. I want to do battle with the goblins. Oh, here we are again with the jester. In this village, you come across a jester being jeered at by a crowd of villagers. Boo, you're rubbish. Alright, return. Join in the shaming of the jester. Ask what the matter is. Weeping, the jester tells you that the village thinks poorly of his comedy skills. In my humor, I aim for politically conscious commentary for our modern age. But they say my jokes are old hat. Tell the audience about the importance of constructive criticism. You explain to the villagers that unless they are helpful in their comments, the jester will never be able to progress as a performer. The villagers look ashamed and apologize to the jester. We'll try and be a better audience next time, I swear! Alright, we'll return. As you make ready to leave, the jester catches up with you and gives you something for your trouble. Ooh, we got two of our frag back. What? Not everyone would stick up for a novice performer like me. Thanks a lot. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Alright, so beeth it. So beeth it. What are these things? Oh, this is the Forsaken Lands, huh? Well, I'm still looking for the Goblin Lands, but we are running a little light on a Goblinitude. Goblinitude? I, I don't know. Human and Elf, Human and Dwarf, Human and Hollow, Contains an Inn. There's a Goblin Settlement. Alright, I think we may have found the Goblin Lands. Let's get into some Goblin Battles. You cross paths with a group of Goblins. This might be a little bit outside of our ability to murder. Kill them! Alright. Well, I shall go forth. And I shall do things. And how close is that? Okay, applies reduction to allies in that area. Cast. All right, well, we're going to cast this on ourselves. Brar! And then, unfortunately, all of these are... Actually, this one's not. Okay, well, we can still hit one of the guys. All right. Blam! Get wrecked. Actually, that did a lot of damage. All right, so the Hexer got wrecked a little bit. The Skull Cleaver's going to dance his little dancey thing there. We give him the middle finger. We're bleeding times three, it looks like. It's not ideal. He's got shadowy wings, and ouch, he hurt us quite badly. And it doesn't look like it's over just yet. And the skyfall there. All right. Well, the unfortunate reality is we're not going to. Oops, we're not going to be able to pull him in. So we're going to go stand next to him. And then we are going to dispel two of the debuffs upon him. And then we are going to use Holy Nova. And it's going to do something. It's not going to be great, but it's not going to be too bad. All right. We're going to run all the way on over here. We're going to heal ourselves up along the path. We're going to blind, I guess, this guy and give him a big old smack. And we're going to hit him with smash. And bam. And there we are, the seeds of creation. I don't know what that does, but there it is. Ooh, we just kind of got wrecked real bad there. This guy is pretty angry too. He looks like he hurt himself and he missed our essence of life proc there, so we're a little bit better off. And this looks like it's going to hurt quite tremendously. All right, we are now very clumsy. However, we can pull you back to us, and we can apply Aegis and other various things onto you. And unfortunately, this is the best we can do is hitting him. Alright, we are freaked out and we are running away because that's what we do, apparently. Alright, we're gonna cast... Hmm. I guess we can cast Reduction. Nah, we'll cast this on him. Or on her, rather. There we are, we are tapped out and gonna get wrecked a little bit here. 
I'd like to be able to close with you and do some damage, but it looks like we're going to get wrecked just a bit more here. The shadowy wings onto you and a hit. Oh, and a miss onto you. Okay. Cutter's going to come over. He's going to drop stuff from the sky or... Yeah, he is going to drop from the sky. Okay. Well, we're going to scoot in a little bit deeper here. We're going to dispel the debuffs off of ourselves. And we are going to double hit. There it is. We eliminated one. Very nicely done. Move over here and get a cast reduction. I guess onto ourselves. I mean, that's really the only play that we have right now. And we'll be able to blast you with a little bit of ground slam action. Then it's going to be fine. All right, a little bit more smackitude times two. That guy's backing up. He's not sure. He's like. Eh. Also, he got feared, so there was that return and the knockback, which didn't really do that much, honestly. Alright, we're going to cast another heal up onto you, and with the Holy Nova, all are healed and damaged. Alright, so there we are. We're going to run around and throw some more heals out, because that's what we do. We're going to cast this upon ourselves. And unfortunately, we cannot actually do an attack right now because we were locked out of it. The attack is crazy and real and angry and... Eh, it's fine. Comes another teleporty fall down with the daggers. And that one actually cast a bleed. Be able to throw another heal. We'll be able to dispel the debuffs finally. And it appears as though we can end you, or at least hurt you a little bit. And then you should be more than capable of finishing this individual off. Alright, let's deafen our opponents. And I guess we'll just hit you with a regular attack. Bam! Alright, Wimp, bring it on. Oh, he punched me. You see that? Oh, and he got a cut on us. That's not cool. How dareth you? How dareth you? Alright, some heals coming out. And the terror is going to be real. Or it's going to miss, and it's not actually going to exist at all. Alright, we're going to reduce everything on the two of us, and we're going to go for this. And good day, sir. There's ten. The goblins lie dead at our feet. We got food and a whole bunch of stuff that I'm hoping is good. Our dwarf reputation went up, our goblin reputation went down. Yeah, we'll see. Tyler gained Fired Up. Increased speed stat by one. Uh, Kayla gained Adept Healer. You have a 50% chance to apply reduction on direct heals. Fantastic. Tyler gained Cautious. Increased Evasion stat by four. Very nice. And Tyler gained Opportunist. You deal plus one damage against targets with no debuffs. If you know how to dodge, then you know when to strike. Alright, well, there we go, folks. That was actually... It looked messy. It looked like it was going to be pretty bad, but... Uh, 8 HP for 4 food. We're going to go ahead and do that. We have a lot of food laying around. Alright, that being said, let's head on to the next goblin place. And we will do battle with the goblins here. In hopes that we're actually powerful enough to do this. We're still a little bit light on things overall. S stop! Stranger, scare goblin, leave goblin land alone! It would be a lot easier if we had a third person... Well, we're going to try to kill him again. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be a thing. Alright, we're going to stay here-ish. We're going to cast Reduction on our ally. Oh, you weren't within range. That's awkward. Alright, how far can we go with that? Not far enough. Alright, that's cool. Come forth, Kata, if that is your real name. He's going to drop stuff on our healer, make her bleed. It's fine. You're going to waddle on over, cast a buff onto yourself. That's okay as well. The Blightmancer. Wow, some really good range there. I'm mildly impressed. Alright, I'm going to get over here. I'm going to remove whatever that is. I'm assuming it's going to be worse than whatever we've got. I'm going to use the AoE, throw the heal. I'm going to move around to the back side of you, friend. And I am going to cast whatever that is. What does that do? Blind. Okay, decrease the accuracy of you. Very nice. Alright, and the smash. Missed. That's unfortunate. Alright, double debuff and the middle finger. And yeah, that's not great. 
guy's blinded, he still managed to land his attack, which is also bad. And now we're trapped in a poison, and a we might lose this one, guys and gals. I'm not going to lie, this one's looking a little bit rougher than the last. Alright, we're going to try to throw a heal out there. We're going to cast this to hit both. And it did hit both. Good, we can no longer move, which is not great. We're going to cast this spell. The armor absorption, we're going to try again. I'm pretty sure he dies here. He's absorbing quite a bit, but it's not going to matter. Here comes the fall, yep. And he's still... Nope, he's dead. Alright, yep, this is where it all ends, folks. Looks like this run isn't going to be any better than the last one. I took too long at the beginning of this to really make this work. It is a bit unfortunate, and, well, more than slightly sad, I'm not going to lie. Alright, I'm going to cast whatever that is onto you, and then we're going to do this. And blam! Well, again, ideally, guys, we would have three people, or we would have been fighting twos, but again, I think we took too long, and then we ended up in this situation where there's actually three people at all times opposing this, so it's not ideal, obviously. Alright, gonna move over, we're going to cast this on to myself, and then we're gonna use our Holy Nova. We may be able to pull this out, though it's highly unlikely that we're gonna have the oomph to do this. Yeah, it's not looking good. They're gonna be able to just range us down to death. And I highly doubt we have the wherewithal or anything to actually survive this. Nope! It all ends here, guys and gals. We did significantly worse this time around than we did the first time around, but that's okay. Ironically, I was able to beat it the second time. I played after the first series that we played, and I actually beat the campaign, and then this is happening, so... Yeah, not ideal. Not ideal. Well, we'll move here. I guess our only play is to try to throw that out. And... Eh, is the fear or whatever going to be enough? I doubt it. Here comes his return attack and our eventual death. And there it is, folks. The world turns and turns and returns to where it had begun, but something is different this time. Both Tyler and Kayla have fallen. It's unfortunate, but it is simply what it is, guys and gals. So, what I'm going to do from this point forward, just so you all know, I am going to wait until I know there's another big update, and then I will come back and play it again for all of you. And there's also a fairly decent chance I will be playing on my own in my off time. Try to improve upon this so I can actually successfully make runs over and over again as opposed to the apparently first time was a failure, the second time I did phenomenally well, which you guys didn't get to see, and then the third time was a bigger failure than the first. But I do have a plan, a strategy, a goal, a hope, a dream, so it'll be a little bit of time before we come back to Overfall, guys. I know this was a, kind of a delayed episode anyway. So I apologize for that, but I'm going to clear out some stuff and get my schedule a little bit tidier before I come back and play more Overfall. It'll give the developer, Para, a little bit of time to actually get stuff up and running, get some updates out there, and improve upon their already amazing game. All that being said, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and to share it. And I'll catch you guys probably in a couple of weeks, maybe a month's time, with the next attempt, the next run, the next effort toward the successful completion of Overfall. And hopefully with some more new unlocked characters and stuff. Either way, folks, until such a time as that, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>